This is why Quick and Warfare and today we're going to take a look at the Piranha, a weapon you can build in the Tenno Lab in your dojo. And this is a handheld shotgun with a lot of critical chance. So let's check out our first build. Our first build is a blast damage build with a lot of critical chance. And um, we have a little bit of slash damage because this weapon primarily deals slash damage. But now also blast damage with the hydraulic crosshairs we get some extra critical chance when we do some headshots and of course pistol gambit for the critical chance and that's about it ladies and gentlemen now let's check this out so blast damage critical chance will this work against the, the infested and as you can see it works like a charm ladies and gentlemen because this weapon shoots so many pellets in one shot you kill almost anything that you point your crosshair at but ladies and gentlemen as you can see after every few shots i have to reload so that is a disadvantage of this weapon but then again ladies and gentlemen the critical chance is so high that i kill anything with one or two shots because hydraulic crosshairs keeps resetting itself you constantly have 135 percent extra critical chance Alrighty then, now our second build is a slash damage, electricity and viral damage build with 50% status chance and 20% critical chance. So we have no longer any critical chance, but now we reload faster, we got a pistol ammo mutation, we keep on shooting and of course we have all the damage mods we need to deal a lot of damage and as you can see here with these level 120 bastards they get hurt but they do not die fast enough for my taste but as you can see if you if you keep calm and you aim for their heads they'll die eventually and again ladies and gentlemen those were 120 level bastards so here are some lower level bastards and as you can see it goes great and even from a farther distance you can kill them but you need to be careful because this weapon has a lot of recoil but it also now reloads faster and you will never run out of ammo and as you can see here it is very handy when you are fighting against large groups of enemies because of the pellet count this weapon has the highest pellet count of the whole game ladies and gentlemen so every time you shoot your weapon there are so many little bolitos shooting out and nobody can escape it so large groups of enemies have no chance against the piranha so let's aim for this head and blast them and oh there's another one and blast them another one jesus where are they coming from uh oh all right everybody dead so now it's time for a corrosive build with again a lot of critical chance and a little bit less status chance than our last build but as you can see we have our primed pistol gambit and we got the hydraulic crosshairs again target cracker for some extra critical multiplier and of course all the mods we need for the elemental damage and of course the damage itself and the multi shots with the barrel diffusion and the lethal torrent so let's check it out so now we have large groups of enemies we have the critical chance and look at that look how easy it is now i just hold down my mouse button and any enemy that comes my way gets flipping slashed because of the big ass slash damage and of course the corrosive damage on this build does a great job against these grenier bastards. Oh we got a curious little fella here. You wanna know how the piranha feels? Feel it bitch! Alright ladies and gentlemen so let's check it out in Draco and as you can see there is no problem for me and the piranha. So let's summarize this beautiful weapon. Of course it has a high critical chance and a high pallet count but some disadvantages are that it is not very accurate and you have a lot of recoil plus you need to reload constantly 
But as long as it's strong, there is no problem. So I hope you enjoyed this vid. Check me out on all my other videos. And hope to see you there. And until then, adios. He's drowning it. But the tactic is, you can, for instance, take over a tower by just placing a puddle there and drowning all your enemies that want to take over that tower. You do damage over time while your enemies are in the puddle and if they did not die and you deactivate your ability, they come back up and you have to finish them off the old fashioned way. And while you are in the puddle, you are totally immune to any damage. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.